it's useful to take a top down view uh, even before you narrow down on vc or p what are the funding choices which uh, are uh, you know present in front of any company or any person as they are sort of starting so as uh, uh, people start up uh, you initially rely on internal sources of funding um, you will both start the company yourself with self funded you know uh, self funded yourself you may raise uh, a friends and family round uh, from people known to you um, and in some rare cases uh, you may be running a profitable business and you can drive the growth of your company using the profits uh, from the from the business itself so those are some of the internal sources of funding uh, then if you are looking externally you have a choice of debt and equity uh, and debt is a cheaper source of funding for the most part equity is the most expensive source of funding but having said that debt is something which may not be accessible uh, to a lot of startups and it is only accessible to a certain you know sort of you know, framework of uh, uh, companies uh, which are profitable which are collateral etc uh, but there are you know some uh, debt opportunities which may be available which is useful to find useful to evaluate these opportunities even though you are a startup um, so you may have short term uh, debt cash credit or other facilities which depending on your banking relationships you may be able to get to your bank you can rely on trade credit as well depending on the industry you can ask your suppliers to finance uh, some portion of your uh, cycle and thereby use it for growth uh, long term sources are also available but like i said in most cases a uh, traditional lenders will look for profitability will look for collateral um and if you are uh, in the very narrow zone of startups which actually have that then you can evaluate long term sources of funding as well uh, which could be term loans uh, you know long term loans project grants and things like that uh, a third and more emerging you know sort of uh, segment of debt financing is venture debt or structured debt uh, which actually is something which may be uh, very relevant from a startups perspective so venture debt typically available for startups which have uh, you know institutional investor on board um you have an investor who comes in take a, a you know provides debt uh, for a certain you know sort of uh, irr uh, and uh, uh, you know allows for a take out in the next round of finance so takes a call that the company will scale until the next round of funding the cost for this you know sort of mode of debt will be fairly high but again it is you know a sort of uh, it could be an alternative uh, to equity as well and can be evaluated along with any equity companies so coming to sources of external equity uh, you have angels uh, high net worth individuals family offices who may you know enter a company at a certain stage uh, then you have institutional sources of funding which are venture capital and private equity so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about you know how uh, people differentiate and how uh, you can evaluate you know, these different sources of funding but uh, uh, it's critical to understand the motivation of these investors as they you know, sort of, uh, Uh, give you funding and take a stake in your company. So these are entities. Uh, let's say at least VC and P are entities which aggregate capital from other you know, sort of investors, international or domestic, and uh, use that capital and invest across a portfolio of assets. P and VC are typically known as alternate assets. And why are they called alternate assets? These are typically private market assets, which are not correlated with the public markets so there is potential to make asymmetric returns in excess of a certain benchmark and there is potential to make these returns uh, despite how the public markets are faring so even if there is a slump in the public markets it, it, it is you know sort of possible depending on how you pick your portfolio to make a uh, very good returns in the private markets so which is why uh, you know several of the large investors dedicate a portion of their portfolio to investing into these alternate assets and you have a, a an industry in the form of bcnp which has evolved to sort of take that money and invest it in the right sort of set of companies uh, 